Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 174 on the Manly League. I'm John, as always, and we're going to draft some more Core Set 2019. This, of course, is a sponsored draft. This is Jan's sponsored draft. Uh, so they'll be getting every card that we draft here, probably including this Graveyard Marshal. I've not played with it yet. I'm pretty sure it's a very, very good card. Gear Poor Guide, decent. Siege, Surge Mare, decent. Star Crown Stag, probably second pick here this is like a pretty solid pack we've got the courser the stag the guide the mare totally lost is fine even wind mage a lot going on here but we're taking graveyard marshal uh maybe we get seven death barons that would be cool probably not uh, but all we have to do is be black and have creatures for this to be good so graveyard marshal in you go so two and a black exile a card get ourselves a tapped very important, tapped, 2-2 two, two black zombie, but we can do it at instant speed, it just won't be a blocker. But decent, very decent. Reassembling skeleton for the combo, the Womboist. No, it's not. What am I talking about? I'm talking about better sacrifice effects. I'm talking about other stuff. That obviously only works once. But there's just a flying siege rhino here, which is snap first pick the the rare probably was better which is why it's not here um, but literally nothing in this pack even slightly compares to the power of the flying siege rhino angela dawn's good skeleton is good we we might get get it back around the the sack deck doesn't often come together although somebody may say well i'm going to take a thud although thud didn't what am I talking about? I clearly haven't even drafted the Sacrifice deck yet. Thud and Reassembling Skeleton's not good. Ignore me. Y you, you can just stop watching now. <laughs> uh, we get a Strangling Spores, which is fine. It's not my favorite removal anymore. The removal in this set is very good and unconditional, and then rapidly drops off to really expensive and doesn't even glance at auras, unfortunately. There's a Disperse here. Uh, I honestly think I like Disperse more than Strangling Spores. Spores does keep us on black and, in fact, cuts black out of this pack entirely. There's a Snapping Drake. I think it, it, it really is between Strangling Spores and Disperse here. Since we have two amazingly fantastic black cards, I think I'm going to lean towards that Strangling Spores. I do think Disperse is a better card. Green is meaningless here. Uh, the rest of black is meaningless. White is pretty meaningless. Blue is the only good color here. And red has a lot of cards. But none worth any reason to go in there. So we'll take spores. It's also not a card that I super want to load up on. Uh, okay, we got some things here. Skilled animator I actually have had some success with. I think you definitely want to be heavily into the blue-white artifacts deck, uh, but I mean, the best thing to do with Skilled Animator is play a bunch of Aviation Pioneers, and that's just a blue deck. We've got a Vampire Neonate, should we want it? Um, I, I think this card is quite good. Uh, I think people kind of realize that. There's a Diamond Mare, which will go in every deck. I honestly think we might just continue cutting black here and take the Vampire Neonate. I think we might. Like, Courser's good... Drake is good. I don't know if I value them enough to jump into another color when Vampire Neonate really kind of is what we want to be doing. If we do end up getting some black-white payoffs, it's going to be really good. Um, yeah, I think I'm just taking this Vampire Neonate here. And then we get starting to get into dregs. We've got Pyromancer, which is okay. We're not quite... The aggro deck, so that's not quite what we want. Swift Claw, ditto. Really ditto. Ether Tunnel, no. Double Cast, no. Bog Stomper, hell no. Crash Through, no. Highland Game, no. Uh, we're kind of looking at Hired Blade, I guess. Like, we're <laughs> we're pushing into Mono Black here, uh, but I think Hired Blade is really the only thing we kind of want out of this pack. We don't know that we're going to be a deck that's really going to want a Swift Claw or a Pyromancer. I'm pretty sure we'll 100% play the first Hired Blade. So let's take the Hired Blade. Diagraph, Ghoul, Skeleton, Archer, Omen Speaker. Di this pack's great. This pack's great, and we're like halfway through. Um, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Is Omen Speaker the best card? 
Do we just take a skeleton archer and continue mono black? Like, do we cut black as hard as humanly possible here? I think I might. Should a death baron get opened and pass, we'd be rewarded incredibly well with a skeleton archer here. I think I'm going to take the skeleton archer. I'm not sure why I'm sticking so heavily to a mono color, but I think we're going to stop that now. Uh, we got a salvager of secrets. That's pretty decent with our strangling spores, and if we pick up murders or something, it's going to be even better. No interest in a spark tongue dragon or an ogre. Certainly no interest in a root snare or a aegis or a cancel. Macabre waltz, if we want one, we can get one. Mind rot, eh. So I, I think we'll take the salvager and uh, start looking at surprise blue black complaints down below uh, two headed zombies not the worst card ever printed it's not the best we're not a trumpet blast deck we're not a trusty pack beast deck we don't want that we don't want that ether tunnel it's not a great aura But I mean, we can get a two-headed zombie. Let's take the ether tunnel. If we do end up blue, I mean, it's okay on like a three-three. Um, Gearsmith prodigy, no. So we're looking at two-headed giant or or two-headed zombie or totally lost. Uh, totally lost. You're so expensive, but you're so good. Um, I really don't want to load up on five drops. <laughs> I think we'll take the two-headed zombie here so that we don't have to even think about taking one any other time. But, but hey, we just get the exact same pick. Walking Corpse might actually be better here, just to make sure that we have some early aggro. Um, Thud came back around. Skeleton was taken. There's a Mind Rot. We're not really the Mind Rot deck. Uh, so we'll just take this Walking Corpse. Um, let's send a signal. Not that sending signals to your right really, or your left really matters that much. We'll take an Infernal Scarring, but we're not going to... We're not going to play that, and we're not taking any of the red there. Anticipate? Maybe. Bog Stomper? Definitely not. Sovereign's Bite? Definitely not. Ediplanes. All right, we got cards. We got power, and then we got filler. Let's try to get some more power. Get some Essence Scatters. Get a Murder. I would love if I just stopped opening Wind Reader Sphinx in draft. It's good, and it's so hard to actually get to it. But we got a Departed Deckhand. This card is stupid. I played against a draft, or I played against an opponent who had it uh, at FNM, and I didn't really have interaction. Like, I had a Disperse in my deck, but otherwise I was, uh, I was actually Mono Blue Mill, which I guess is a little bit off. But if you don't draw interaction, this is literally just a 10-turn clock on its own. And so on turn two, I said good game, and I wasn't being that facetious, and in fact, it was good game ten turns later. Uh, there's no way we're not taking Departed Deckhand. This card is just stupidly good. Uh, we've got an Avon Wind Mage. Probably won't come back around. Uh, I don't think we're actually getting anything back in this pack, unfortunately. We'll get a Wall of Mist, but I don't want that. But I do want a Departed Deckhand. Uh, die or Graph, Ghoul, Disperse... Uh, I mean, that other Diagraph Ghoul almost went all the way around. And if we successfully pushed people out of black a little bit, they might head off into their green or their blue or whatever. So we might be get that Diagraph Ghoul back around. I'd be pretty happy getting a Disperse here. The auras in this set piss me off. Uh, <laughs> you know, two drop, Oaken Form, Oaken Form, Oaken Form, you lose unless you have 17 answers is not my favorite kind of formats. Crucible of Worlds, I assume, is still utterly worthless online. Especially if it's being passed this far around. Crucible of Worlds is... Two tickets. But we get an Essence Scatter. Love me an Essence Scatter. Best blue common? Second best blue common? It's real good. Uh, the green is decent in this pack. Good white card. No black, unfortunately. Let's hope that changes, but we'll take an Essence Scatter. Avon Wind Mage, second Essence Scatter. You bet I'll take a second Essence Scatter. God, I love this card. It's so good. So good. And it's a great teaching experience because, of course, Cancel, not 
good. You, you generally shouldn't play cancel. There, there's decks that, yes, it works in. But uh, people then will take that and say, aha, I've leveled up. Counters are always bad in limited. No, Essence Scatter is, in fact, great in limited. Um, all about nuance. I do want an Aven Wind Mage at some point. We've passed so many. Uh, this Vampire Neonate maybe comes back around, I hope, but we're taking that Essence Scatter. Mist Collar is Bayad. Um, so we get a Frilled Sea Serpent. If we, like, control the game, this ends the game. I feel like we can probably get a second Hired Blade if we want it. Um, I don't see a need to take a Manolith here. So we'll take a Frilled Sea Serpent. Ooh, our colors, where are they? They're not in here, that's for damn sure. We'll take a Cinder Baron, I guess, in case we hit a Banefire. That would be amazing. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else here. Pretty late declare dominance. Pretty late. Pretty late everything in green. TBH. We'll take that Cinder Barons. Ah, boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Could just take a blue-black duel. Ghost form is not a card I want to play. I don't think we're a cancel deck. We're certainly not a Stitcher's supplier deck. We'll take this Boneyard. Not much, not much. Uncomfortable chill. I, I, you know, red white's so everywhere that it's probably okay to main deck one of these nowadays. Bog Stomper, not playing the first one, not playing the second one. It is way too expensive for absolute garbage. Um, yeah, we're taking uncomfortable chill. Uh, sideboard duress, sideboard wall of mist. Sideboard Wall of Mist. That's what we're going with. Macabre Waltz. Uh, we're at 10 creatures. We need more, and we're not playing Macabre Waltz with 10 creatures. Not going to happen. All right. Well, we got our Essence Scatters. Just give me... Give me, you know, just something mildly okay, like a Chromium. That's all I wanted at Pack 3. So I guess that Diagraph Cool didn't come back around. That's unfortunate. We we didn't take a black card this pack, did we? That Macabre Waltz was our first black card that we took this pack. Okay, so... Um, I guess despite trying desperately to cut black, the person on our right cut black from us? Or the person on our left? Interesting. But... Doesn't matter because they only pass us the one pack. Bog Stampa. Yeah, green's open uh, on our right for sure. Like Centaur Courser, third last pick. Uh, Daggerback Basilisk actual third last pick but I mean we didn't really see any green in pack one and I mean as a result we probably won't see any green in pack three either so I don't think it would have been correct to jump into that because everything that we saw was like they're fine cards there, there's no power behind these though there's, there's no I need to jump into that color Um, and as a result of saying that, we're going to get three bomb green rares in a row. Go. Bomb green rare. Bomb green rare. Show me that bomb green rare. Show me anything. <sighs> I'm so sick and tired of opening this, opening this card and not being able to play it. I opened it uh, in a draft. I think it was a spiky Saturday draft. Uh, I opened it last week in League, where I'm playing blue-black. Am I playing blue-black in League? No. Yes? I think I'm playing blue-black in League. And here we are again. Not really able to play it. We've got an Archer. Or a Surge Mare. <laughs> uh, and I don't think it's worth anything either. I think it's worth like a buck.
47 cents. Ain't worth a thing. Um, like, we can't. We can't. We'd be splashing two off colors with nothing. With a Cinder Barons currently. We can't do that. And so I think we have to Surge Mare here. Someday I'll play with Vivictus. Someday. Surge Mary in. Hey, murder. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. Uh, random Mythic isn't worth anything, I assume. In foil, it's probably worth. Yeah, in foil, it's eight, eight, eight tickets. Non-foil, it's 49 cents. We're taking a murder here. Feeling pretty good about that. There's a Divination that might come back around. I'd probably play a Divination in this deck. Um, but certainly playing a murder. Uh, we got a Harpy. We don't really have Sack Synergy. I mean, kind of, if we sack a creature and then exile it to the Graveyard Marshal. Um, there's an Omen Speaker. I think we might actually take this Harpy. Uh, it really helps out against uh, white aura removal and etc. Um, so I, I think we'll be pretty happy with a Harpy here. Omen Speaker, I'd love a couple. Maybe we get one. Same with Sky Scanner, but we'll take this Harpy. It's just a slight bit more power. Sift, Disperse, Vampire, Neonate number two, Epicure of Blood. All kinds of stuff here. All kinds of stuff. Do we want a second Neonate? Quite possibly. Holds off the ground. We've got Essence Scatter, Essence Scatter, Disperse for a token. We've got a Murder. We've got a Strangling Spores. We're definitely going to control. So I think we actually do want this Neonate in. And we might get back that Epicure of Blood, which makes the Neonates even better. Um, so yeah, Neonate number two in. Sky March Blood Letter. Decent. Very decent. Definitely taking that. Nightmare's Thirst would work. We'd actually be able to cast it for like minus two, minus two. Maybe minus three, minus three if we had. I guess that's only five mana. That's not horrible. Um, but Skymarch Bloodletter is just so much better. So Skymarch Bloodletter, in you go. Uh, and then we get it again. Should we want it? And I think we probably want it at this point. Even as minus one, minus one, it's okay. And if we can get that too. It's uh, going to be decent. Better than a second Hired Blade, for sure. And this will put us at 23 cards, so we get to start making cuts. Should we get anything better? Stupid Vivictus. Um, but that's okay, because we don't get anything better. At all. In any way, shape, or form. Uh, we'll take a sideboard duress. This deck seems okay. Seems okay. Only the one dispersed to deal with the uh, oops, auras on everything, lol, I win. Um, but we got stuff against red, white aggro. We got the blocks. We got the life gain. Should be okay. Should be okay. I don't think we're going to get much else, though. We might get an omen speaker. I think that's about all that we can really hope for or expect. Snapping Drake. I'd play a Snapping Drake. Control the ground, fly on in. Snapping Drake over Ether Tunnel. Ether Tunnel is not what we're doing, right? Like, we're flying to win. We're flying, we're flying. We're flying, we're menacing. We're making unblockable. We are unblockable. We don't need that Ether Tunnel. Ether Tunnel out, Snapping Drake in. Uh, another Skeleton Archer. I don't think we super need it. I don't want to load up on four drops. Salvager's bringing back what? Um, spores, murder, chill, thirst, anticipate, disperse, scatter, scatter. Actually, that's a fair bit. Salvager is 100% in this deck. Um, yeah, Archer, sideboard, I think. Sure, let's take the 50 cent mythic. Let's take the 50 cent mythic. Uh, disperse. Sure. Yeah, this seems fine. This seems fine. Like, we could take out the walking corpse for it, but at that point, the curve changes a fair bit. It becomes much more flat on the four. It has a lot more power, though. Ah, yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with this. 
Make a stand, take it, or rip it up. <laughs> oh boy, if we lose to this card again. The defensive make a stand. Uh, two headed zombie, sure. Catalyst elemental, sure. Alright, we got ourselves a deck. 15 creatures. Removal. Best removal in the set. No rares. One rare. Graveyard Marshal. Seems okay. Seems okay. Let's add some lands. Uh, or save the deck. Sure. Add some lands and then save the deck. 8-8. Uh, eight, eight. Eight, eight. With the Boneyard. Do we want the Boneyard? It's a tapped land that's going to suck if it's our only black and we have Neonades. <clears throat> I'm slightly leaning towards it because we do have like the double pips. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go 8-8 eight, eight and the tap land. So we'll save that deck and uh, we will play some magic and maybe get a trophy, our first trophy of this format. <laughs> uh, yeah, this format's not uh, not being kind to me and I'm not being kind to it. But yeah, uh, the deck seems fine. Um, I think we're actually decently matched up against the red-white aggro deck here. Uh, I think we're somewhat okay <laughs> We're somewhat okay against the green aura decks until they play the mistake of a card, Vinemare. We're gonna play first. Um, this is fine. We get my absolute favorite play of Essence Scatter Anticipate. And then we get to slam down a Hired Blade. Seems fine indeed. Uh, let's go with a Swamp just in case we top deck a Graveyard Marshal. <clears throat> Blue White, ooh. Didn't get the Graveyard Marshal. We got the Tap Land. Is there a two drop that we desperately need to Essence Scatter in Blue White? I don't think so. So let's go Tap Land now. So we don't have to be in an awkward situation later. Whew. Second Essence Scatter. Well, well, we are uh, going to play Draw Go for a while here. What you got? Manolith, sure. I have a hired blade. Block that with your manolith. Ah, uh, dare ya. Uh, whoops, 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 cancel. Drop an island, let's hit him for three. So we've got the essence scatter and anticipate play, which I'm super excited about, plus a salvager in a couple of turns to uh, bring back that essence scatter. Let's make sure I didn't F6. Blue, white, green. Bant. Is there a Bant thingy, Rocks Oracle? Uh-uh, not today. Not today, but good try. And we're going to anticipate. Vampire Neonate? Sure. Sure thing. We are, uh, we are controlling. I like it. I like it quite a bit. So we're going to bash in for three. We're going to drop a Neonate. We're going to drop a Departed Deck Hand. And we're going to hold up another Essence Scatter. And we're going to five them next turn. Take them to nine. Uh-uh. Not a chance. No creatures for you today. Whew. All right. In for three. In for two. Take them to nine. Skymarge Bloodletter, take him to eight. We'll ping him, take him to seven. And that's going to be lethal if we give this unblockable next turn. If they don't have a flyer, we win. Divination? Sure. Got to drop a Snapping Drake here. Guess a Giant Spider as well. Mm. 
deck worked exactly the way it needed to here. Wow. I'm telling you, Essence Scatter. Best blue common. Alright, so opponent's thinking through the math. There's not much math to think through. They, they must... If they can kill the deck hand, they at least go to two. One, I guess, virtually, with the untapped neonate. If they kill Hired Blade, they're still in a lot of trouble. Two mana. Okay, they're going to kill the deck hand. Sure thing. So they're going to do the uh, the go to two plan. Swampy. In for five. play the salvager if we play the salvager we don't get to hold up the neonate so we're going to hold up the neonate because they now need to kill everything on our board or they're dead hey we got them wow <laughs> wow that worked supremely well so we don't know much we know they have a rocks oracle a scholar of the stars a manolith and uh take vengeance and i think think that's all we know so back in back in back in is what we're doing back in called man that worked super well <laughs> and that's why I play blue so much in this format it's because essence scatter is just super good super good and if you get people in a draft pod who underestimate it so they get blown out. Uh, turn to Surge Mare. Into a Hired Blade. Into a... Yeah, yeah, this is a keep. Opponent's gone down to six. Kept their six. Snap kept their six. Scryed. Where? Scryed to the top. Must be nice. Boneyard. Pass the turn. We get an Archer on four if we have a target for it. Otherwise, we just target their face. Face is always a target. Let's drop the Surge Mare. We've got a Vampire Neonate that we can drop when we get a chance. Okay. <laughs> I was like, but I, I'm the one with the Essence Scatters. So they don't have Essence Scatter. Otherwise, they would 100% have countered that. We actually get some unblockable value here. We, we do know that they have at least one green creature. <clears throat> Dried Green Seeker. Dees. So we're probably going to kill that with a Strangling Spores, should we get the chance. Um, so I think we just get in here and drop a Neonate and loot rather than dropping a Hired Blade. Especially because we really want that fourth land. So yeah, we're going to bash in with the horse. They can't block it. We're going to pump the horse. We're going to loot. Two-headed zombie. That's probably the card I care the least about here, right? Yeah, let's pitch a two-headed zombie. Drop a vampire neonate. Pass the turn. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Can't do that in the damage step. Vampire neonate. Pass the turn. Hit that fourth land. <laughs> Hit that fourth land, please. their very own Surge Mare. Well, now what do I do about that? I mean, I block it with my Surge Mare is what I do. Uh, land? Okay, that's not the best thing that's ever happened to us. Um, fuck. Uh, we'll pass the turn. Yay. 
So if they come in with Surge Mary, we can drop Hired Blade. Throw that in front. Look at the top. To land. Decent. Really would have preferred that to be dead. Damn, just jamming it, eh? That main phase tap. So there's something on top that's not a land. Are we getting a divination here? Did they just like desperately want to draw? Rock's Oracle. Yeah, they, they wanted to desperately draw. Makes sense. Makes sense. So they wanted to make sure they were drawing live, or at least had a better chance of drawing live. So no attacks are going to happen here. So... I think we hit a creature rather than draining. Let's just flood the board. Deck. I mean, this is okay, but deck. Um, yeah, let's drop the blood letter. Pass that turn. Main phase tap again. So another rocks oracle. Um, divination. Manolith. No, I guess I guess they're just locked into doing it before their draw step now. Alright, so we get to start flying in at least. Should we get another mana, we can start flying in as well with the snapping drake. But uh, if we don't get past three lands, I think we just lose here. I think we lose real hard. Uh, we we need to we need to double spell, or else we're dead. Eh, hey, yay! Fun games. Magic is great. Ah, uh, pass that turn. Pass it. <sighs> Yeah, I, 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 I'd, I'd like a land. Can I have it? Can I have it? Please? Island played. It's gonna suck. We might have to anticipate and take a land. So you know it's gonna be like murder something else. Land. What you got? Dwindle. That's rude. That's real rude. Dick. Um, you sure? You dwindled it. You sure did. Um, you attacking with the Surge Mare? I mean, I still just get to kill it. Yeah, didn't think so. Cool beans. Cool bean reenies. Um, I don't want to disperse my Surge Mare to recast it. I do want to anticipate here and see what we get. Please be land, land, land. Thank you. Um, let's go with a swamp. <laughs> Ready for it? Land on top. Cool. Departed deckhand. That's pretty decent. That's going to start closing out the game. Um, I mean, Snapping Drake also closes out the game even faster. Otherwise, we can also just hold up Disperse and uh, Neonate. No, let's drop the Drake. No need to use Strangling Spores. Like, this is annoying, but I don't think it's enough to kill it. So yeah, let's drop the Drake. Pass the turn. Demand removal for that as well. Tap the Green Seeker. What's on top? It's not a land. They draw it. So you're telling me you have a trick. <clears throat> well, I would like to kill your rocks, Oracle. And if we get a trick out of your hand, cool. Nope, dead rocks, Oracle. Oh god, that's a lot of mana. What you doing? Salvager of Secrets ooh, on Rabid Bite. That's gonna eat a snapping Drake. 
How unfortunate. How unfortunate. Now what do we do? Uh, well, we don't draw land. That's the first step. Um, I guess we departed deckhand. Hold up essence scatter. I guess. <clears throat> We're not in the best shape. Not in the best shape. So they've got a non-land on top that they're going to draw here. Scholar of Stars is going to draw them a card. Uh, no, you don't get a Scholar of Stars. <clears throat> no more card draw for you for now. Let's pump the brakes on that. So they can only pump Surge Mare once, so we've got blocks for it. We're okay here. We are okay here. How are you? Look at our opponent double spelling. But that doesn't matter. If you have four lands, you can play everything in your deck, right? Opponent not double spelling. I don't think they... Attack with both, eh? I mean, Departed Deckhand's nice, but... I think we can win otherwise. We've got a bunch of flyers still. We've got the Sea Serpent still. <clears throat> Pass the turn. Cool. Cool beans. Um, man. Just want a fifth land by turn 10. That's all I want. Um, Archer does nothing. Spores does nothing. So second Neonate. And pass that turn. What's on top? It's a land. Draw that land and play it. Or no, draw it and then draw another card. Play the land. Attacking me? How rude. I'll block with the horse. And then I'll disperse the horse. So I get to replay the horse. Are they going to disperse their dwindle? <laughs> no. They're not quite that 3D chess. 4D chess? I don't know what the hell that meme is. Uh, they haven't played that land yet. Snapping Drake. Okay. Play your island. They play a forest? They played a forest. They've got an island in hand. Thank you for the information. Alright, so Snapping Drake is now going to become a problem. Um, so we could just kill it. But then we like do nothing. Alright, let's drop Surge Mare. Pass the turn. We're going to have to take three here, but we do get to uh, drain, so we're only going to take two. This card advantage is going to destroy us. Like The fact that we got our fifth land on turn 10, or turn 11, or whatever it was, was a massive problem. Uh, divination? Sure. Maybe we just mill them out. Who knows? Could happen. They play a forest. They've got an island in hand. So what's the white? Is there a Bant dragon? There is, but it's awful. It's Arcades. Huh. Alright, so we'll take three. This is fine. This is fine. I mean, I guess Arcades works with the 1-3 and the 0-5. Oh, oh my god, are you getting back another freaking Rabid Bite? <laughs> Pretty decent, but they can't cast it. They can't cast it at the moment, and we can actually blow them out with it a bit. So we're going to drain them. We're going to drop a land, and we're going to pass the turn as though we have nothing. 
and then when they try to kill, I guess, a neonate, we get the strangling spores and blow them out. Okay, non-land on top. So they're drawing that non-land. Player island. Or go to combat. Either or. I'm not the boss of you. But why? Block? But why, though? Okay. So you're going to rabid bite on the surge mare? That's fine. That's super fine. Super fine. Super fine. Rabid bite, snapping drake, surge mare. Also play your island. So there's what, two lands on the bottom of the deck? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we only know where eight of the lands are. There's still nine in the top 18. 50, 50 odds. Didn't even try to kill the Surge Bear. All right, so we'll kill that. You do not get to fight anything and you do not get to continue having a Snapping Drake. And this vampire, werewolf looking vampire is gonna bite you. Get bit. Oh, uncomfortable chill. It's so uncomfortable. Um, yeah, we're just gonna pass the turn. So we're just in lock em up mode right now. Look at the top card, what is it? Is it they still didn't play that island. They've got two islands in their hand now. Luminous Bonds, rude! What a dick! Block, and block, and we get the Uncomfortable Chill, which makes that into a 2-1, so it doesn't kill that. They're going to use up all their mana, we get to draw a card. We're pretty okay here with this. Pretty okay here with this. Sure, Uncomfortable Chill. It's so uncomfortable. Hey, a land. So nothing happens. We get to drain them. Drain, 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 drain. Hey, it's your boy, Graveyard Marshal. How many creatures we got? One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. It's a bajillion and a half. Um, yeah, we're gonna drop a Graveyard Marshal. One, two, three, one, two. So we get to make a zombie and drain? Sounds fine to me. Sounds great, in fact. Now, the zombie can't block. You gotta remember that. Look at the top card. Oh, they played an island. They're at four now. Non-land on top. Always nice. Play a forest, so they still got an island in hand. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't. I don't think we missed it. But they, I'm pretty sure they always had three. Maybe we missed it. Who knows? So you want to loot? I feel like we still have enough stuff in the deck. Like we still have the sea drino. We've still got the sea serpent. Like we've still got stuff. So I feel like we can maybe throw away a neonate here. And it's going to require them to double pump. They're going to have to use up four mana just to kill it. So yeah, let's throw a neonate in front. And at some point we can just throw a graveyard marshal in front and it'll trade. Sure, you got me. I'm going to drain you. So that is a dead neonate. That is a big old horse. I wish we could flash that in. And you've got yourself an aerial engineer. Well, crud. Crud. 
crud and a uh, half. Um, we need murder now. We need the murder. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make a zombie. Murder on top. One time, please. Well, we were chatting about you, and you were a great idea. You're, you're less of a good idea now. Um... What can we salvage? Anticipate, essence, scatter, disperse. So we can disperse an aerial engineer for a turn. I mean, I guess it buys us a turn, right? Buys us a turn, gets us one turn closer to murder. So yeah, let's salvage your back, disperse. Bloop. Strangling Spores makes it a 1-1 one, one. that doesn't kill it. If we had 8 mana... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... If we can hit a land next turn, we can Skeleton Archer Strangling Spores kill it. I feel like those are better odds, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... So there's 8 lands in the top 14... We're likely to hit it, so let's take the Strangling Spores. It only really screws us up if we, um... Or if they, uh, hit, like, a, a Titanic growth or something. We do have to take four here. Drawn a card, sure. Getting ever closer to milling themselves. We see 11 of their lands. We presume there's six more. So that's six out of 14 cards, our lands. That's not bad. I assume the horsey's gonna come in? If it does, we just double block. If it does, we just double block. I think we're in, I, I think we're still in okay shape here. We're taking four and that's not great. Drew to the cowl, fine. Crap, 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 I passed the turn. Hey, we got the land. Um, all right, let's try it. Let's hope one time, one time. Skeleton Archer, ping. Strangling Spores, hit it. F6, please. Please, please. Please? Hey, we're alive again. <laughs> We're alive again. Draw a card? Draw a card. Plan a land. Rocks Oracle. Not a problem. Draw a card. Get yourself closer to Millen. I am fine with that. <clears throat> we can make so many zombies next turn if we want to. And, like, they're not flying in, so I think we want to. I said they're not flying in. Well, we can still hit murder. We can still hit murder. But we now need to do that in four turns. Island. Pass. <clears throat> Why don't you have reach? You're an archer. Hit me. So, uh, well, we're only taking three a turn because of the neonate. So that's five turns. It's a lot of our deck that we get through. We could still hit that murder. Land and a go. Cool. Alright, so we'll neonate. We will make a zombie. And we'll make another zombie. Draw for turn. It's a land. Um, pass the turn. Make a bunch of zombies. 
Like, I don't think we're winning through damage, right? Like, this is only four, whereas we can make... One, two... We can make three zombies next turn. That's six damage. That's more than the Sea Serpent. So we'll make more zombies next turn, plus drain. Five, five nine, ten. Uh, so no, we can only make two zombies and drain next turn. But that's still okay. Still okay. They're down to five cards. And if we hit that murder... We hit that murder, I think we win. Hell, if we hit Vampire Sovereign, we have a blocker at least. Uh, so yeah, we'll take four. It's gonna be a grind. It's gonna be a grind. Alright, so we'll neonate. We'll make a zombie. We'll make a zombie. Murder or Vampire Sovereign? I see. So we've only got one creature left in the graveyard. Five, nine, ten. So that leaves four up. That leaves a neonate and a scatter. And what do they got for blocks? They got three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So they take two, four, six. They go to five. We're getting there. We're getting there. So let's drop the sea serpent. Pass the turn. You got an essence scatter? Jerk. Sure. Alright, so we're going to go to five. We're going to go up to six. It's going to be a grind, I tell you. We've got like two cards that I can think of that we can like really draw into right now. Murder plus Watchamadoodle. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I think the ultimate kind of takeaway of M19 is there's too many... We're playing Matt... Uh, you lose. We're having a fun game. No, it's over. This card, Banefire. I have both of them in my league deck and I feel like a dick every time I play the two of them. Um, yeah, we, we lose. We're dead there. Vampire Sovereign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 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 So, we've seen their deck now. They're splashing for Aerial Engineer. It's an okay card. I don't know if you splash for it. Um, I don't think that means we have a sideboard. Sideboard, Duress against Manolith. Arcane Encyclopedia, Rabid Bite, Sleep. Actually, that's a, that's a decent amount of really problematic cards. And I don't like the Sea Serpent. So let's take out Sea Serpent, put in a Duress. I mean, Ether Tunnel kind of works. They've got what? They've got the Rabid Bite, which would blow it out. Is that it? I don't think we saw it Disperse. I guess they've got Dwindle. And luminous bonds. Oh, they're splashing for luminous bonds as well. Do we want an ether tunnel? Does Nightmare's Thirst hit anything? I don't think it does. Right? Like our skeleton archers never had a target other than that one eight mana turn. So I don't think our Nightmare's Thirst ever have a target. Even at two. They've got Snapping Drake. Nightmare's Thirst out. Ether Tunnel in. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's go with this and uh, try to get there. We're going to play first. And we can drop a Neonate followed by a Graveyard Marshal. That seems good. Seems good. Mm, graveyard Marshal and Ether Tunnel. Gonna get him. I mean, Surge Mare with an Aether Tunnel. Am I right? Or am I right? Vampire Neonate, down you go. Unfortunately, that Surge Mare is not coming out for a long time. 
I mean, we could start to get it out, but no, we're, we're getting a Graveyard Marshal down before they have Essence Scatter Mana. And then we might just jam an Aether Tunnel on it. Dried Green Seeker, sure. Are we just jamming an Aether Tunnel on it? Or do we want the Aether Tunnel for the Surge Mare? I mean, the Surge Mare can't be blocked right now either, right? But I mean, the Graveyard Marshal is not going to be blocked either. So no, I think we'll just get in for three here. So we actually probably should play the Boneyard. We'll get in for three, and then we will uh, just drain for two. Yeah, we'll just drain for two. Surge Mary, you'll get you'll get your Wombo combo at some point. Manalith, sure. Let's drain him. You want to attack me? You can. Uh, okay, we're just drawing nothing but lands, eh? All right, so we will bash in for the three. Take him to 13. They're going to look. What do they see? It's an island. And we're going to drop our horsefish. Pass the turn. So we get to pump horsefish once. So it's going to be three. It's decent. We're getting some attacks in here. As long as this isn't removal. Uh, sure, I think we can just outrace that. I think we can outrace that quite well. Oh, I forgot. the. Yep. Getting distracted. That's what I'm doing. Uh, let's drop that. Let's bash in for three. In for three. We get to loot. Hopefully find removal for that. Holy God. All right, drop that land. Pass the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine left in the deck. Nine in the top, 28. So they didn't play a land last turn. They played Meandering River. So we've got a non-land on top. Played their island. All right, so the race begins. And if they get their Luminous Bonds or their Dwindle, the race ends, and not in our favor. Rocks Oracle, draw yourself a card. Two-headed Zamambi. Um, all right, so we can double pump. Double pump, take them to five, and that's, they're dead. So yeah, let's come on in. Go for the old double pump. Sure. What's on top? It's not a land. Double pump. Double pump. Uh, we are, our only double black card is down, so let's leave one of each mana up. Take him to five. We'll loot. We'll throw away that submerged boneyard. Snap and Drake. Cool. We're taking him to four. We're in good shape. We've got to have a got to have an answer for the surge mare right now. And here's limit response. Take vengeance. Rude. Rude. So now we're on like a four turn clock with neonate. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll trade here. You bet we'll trade here. You bet. Drain him. Take him to four. Salvager, bring back Take Vengeance, Rude. Um, so we drop the Snapping Drake, and then they can't attack us. And Take Vengeance is Sorcery Speed, so we'll make sure that we always do Vampire Neonate at the end step. And they're actually dead next turn if they attack us. So I assume... God damn it. All right. Sleep. Uh, sleep, take vengeance on the snapping drake. Hit me for a bunch. I hate this card. Ultimately, I hate M19. I think M19 was not well designed. Uh, so they're going to kill the snapping drake, I would assume. Oh, nope, the neonate. I guess because they can eventually just stop attacking with that. 
All right, so let's drop a harpy. And let's drop a two-headed zombie. Get some blockers. Demand they keep two blockers back. But I think we're just going to lose. I think we played well, and I think we're just going to lose. Not much we can do. Like, if they, if they actually have nothing here, we do win. But there's no way... Well, do we just lose otherwise? So what could happen is we could attack in with everything. They have to block Snapping Drake or they're dead. And then they have to block Two-Headed Zombie or they're dead. And then we just sack, sack, and they're dead. So if they have nothing but lands in hand, or like an Arcane Encyclopedia or something, they're actually dead. But we don't know that. And if they have something, we're dead on the crackback. Actually, we're not... We're not 100% dead on the crackback. We go to one. So it might just be worthwhile just trying it if nothing happens here. And if they attack us, I think we just take it. Like, if they attack us and they have a titanic growth that we didn't see despite seeing all but, like, six cards of their deck, good on them. Sure. I don't believe you have it. If this is an inspired charge... Don't splash inspired charge, people. Don't splash inspired charge. It worked here, but you're going to lose a bajillion times over. Um, yeah. That sucked. We lost to the splashed inspired charge. What can you do? What can you do? All right. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's try to not go 0-2 yet again. Yet again in this format where you can do whatever you want and just randomly win. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Surge Mare, Deckhand, Keepin'. You betcha. They were splashing Inspired Charge off a single Meandering River and a uh, Manolith. Like, we never saw a Plains out of them, right? <laughs> Jesus. Greenwood Sentinel. Well, y'all know what's going to happen here, don't you? It's going to get oaken formed. Um, well, if it gets oaken formed, it can't attack into a surge bear. Oh, conform it up. Oh, conform it up. Better to be lucky than good. Uh, Drudgal, sure. Vampire Neonate. Um, yeah. Double spelling sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a plan to me. So opponents on mono green. So Gigantosaurus? Bristling boar, yikes. That's, that's, a, that's a big boy. Um, I guess our snapping drake blocks it. Fairly okay. Man, Surge Mare's good in this matchup, eh? Um, so we're going to get in for two. And then we're going to drop a creature to block that bristling boar. But if it gets oaken formed or something stupid, then again, we're in the fun situation of we have a card that makes our opponent basically lose by dispersing their Voltron creature. Um, but if we don't see it, we lose. Instead. Show me that Titanic growth. Uh, or actually, do I just want to continue attacking in? I take four, they take six. They go to 12. And then I go to 12, but then they go to six. No. 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 I think we race here. I think we race. Please no giant spider. Ooh, no giant spider. Hmm. 
Mono green tricks. Main deck plummet. Main deck fog. We know how M19 works. <laughs> you lose to very, very sideboard cards or unplayable cards in the main deck. Five. Five? Fived them. Successfully fived them. And then we're going to Skeleton Archer and ping him for one. And then we got a very good blocker for Bristling Boar. I, maybe they're not mono green. Like, maybe they're just really unlucky here with lands. It feels mono green. Ah ha ha, got him. Alright, so we're going to five them and then three them. And then they're basically dead. They're going to go to eight here, uh, seven. Down to seven. We're going to drop them to four, and then they're super dead. They're super dead. Okay. So I'm expecting auras at some point. Not sure if we can do anything about that. Um, we haven't seen prodigious growth, so I don't want to like throw in a duress. Um, no, I think we just go back in. Yeah, I think we go back right back in. This should be an okay matchup for us, I think. <laughs> forest, 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 manolith, manolith, inspire charge. Um, cool. I actually would like this to be a swamp. I think we are probably incorrect to be playing that in the deck. But we don't have a turn two play, so just dropping the neonate on turn two is probably going to be fine. Now we have a turn two play, but uh, it's a turn two play that we can still hold up should we need. Unfortunately, them being on the play means they're going to get their creatures going right away. Ooh, they didn't. They did not. So we are going to hold up that Essence Scatter and we're going to play a little bit of uh, slow magic here. A little bit of slow magic. We're going to counter almost guaranteed whatever this is, if it's a creature. Yep, not a chance. And then we're probably going to flash in a Hired Blade. And then we can play reactive magic for a bit. So we flash in higher blade, strangling spores, whatever they play here. If it's the boar, oh, amazing. Um, follow that up with, if we get a swamp, a neonate, and then murder whatever they play. And we're in good shape. Shape equals good. They've got to be mono green. There's no chance they're not mono green. Druid, sure. I actually, I, I don't think I will strangling sports that. TBH. Deck. Get him for three. Yeah, there's no way I'm strangling sports the druid. Like, they're going to hit their creatures. They're going to hit their dread maws with or without that cowl. If this is Dreadmaw, stab it in the face. Stab it in the face. Stabbed. Ooh, deckhand. Beauty. So we're going to bash in for three. We're going to drop, uh, I guess, deckhand and neonate here. Which means we don't hold up the spores, but that's fine. And pass that turn. So we've got five, so we've got them on a three turn clock at the moment. If we just attack, 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 attack. As long as this isn't another Dreadmaw. Basilisk, fine. We can strangling spores that. You betcha we can. Ooh, disperse. Dece. Dece plus, in fact. Um, 
Yeah, so we're going to strangle the dagger back. Titanic growth? Wow. Wow. Um, sure. That's fine. You used a combat trick. Idiot. Um... They're down to two cards in hand. Am I actually pretty okay with just trading the blade with the basilisk? I mean, whether it trades now or next turn doesn't really matter. So no, let's just get in for two here. And then if we get a dispersed target, cool. And if we don't, we drain them. We're in good shape. We're in good shape here. Oh, I see. Well, this sucks for you. Good try, though. Good try. <laughs> Scoop. There we go. There's the rage quit. All right, we're one and one. Cool. Let's uh, let's get match three in, and let's hope that we can go two and one. It's been a while since I've two and one. It's been a while. My four and zero at F and M with the stupid mono blue mill deck. I got like patient rebuilding like fifth pick in pack two it was kind of dumb but online it's just not working magic arena is just auras everywhere magic online is greedy 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 main decks have has everybody i've played just been like random name letters and numbers today uh cool this is a hand this is a hand keep super keep so we get to neonate into essence scatter if we get a target, otherwise drain. Turn three is a bit empty. ATM. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Swamp. Cool. Hired blade. Ha <laughs> ha. Turn three is no longer empty. All right, so we get an Essence Scatter if there's something scary. Otherwise, we just get to tap this. If it's a 2-2, two, two, I don't think we counter it. Um, a 2-1? Well, that's actually pretty annoying. We don't want them gaining that much life. So, uh-uh. Not today. Good try, though. Good try. And we'll pass the turn. I guess we could have Skeleton Archered that eventually. I'm pretty sure we'll have another target, though. When it's on that mono black life. Alright, we're gonna pop down a hired blade here. Follow that up with a two headed Zambi. Seems good. Opponent has their own hired blade. Opponent has their own hired blade. I'm um, sure they can uh, bump into each other. You got it. You got it. And we'll drop ourselves a two-headed zombie. Require them to drop two creatures here. Or do that. Or do that. We appear to have matched our matched up against our equals. I'm assuming they have a second color. Nightmare's Thirst, eh? Uh, yeah, we'll just hit him in the face for one, I guess. Get one in the face. So Nightmare's Thirst is currently three mana, minus two, minus two. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've tried the mono removal deck, and it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Opponent not passing their turn. I wonder if they missed playing a land drop. Well, we sure didn't. Go. Go. 
doomed a dissenter. Sure. That's fine. We're not killing that. We're draining you, though. 19 turn clock. Activate. Pass the turn. Hmm. No more lands, please. No more. No more. Haha, -ha, coward. Drain. Pass. <laughs> oh. Aha! So I'm going to say Poison Tip Archer is uh, their game plan here. Drain them for one. 16 turns left. Hey, that's much better. It still doesn't have a target, but it's not a land and it's fantastic. Perhaps if they drop said Poison Tip Archer. Child of Night. Sure. Whoops, my finger slipped. Drain you for two. Or one, rather. One is one is one is the number that we should be saying. Yep. Alright. Eight in the top twenty four. It's one in three? Yeah. Sixty six percent chance of drawing. Not a land. What does opponent have in their hand? They've got six mana. They're not casting it. Maybe they have removal and they don't want to remove this. They should at some point. Well, if you're not going to play stuff, I'm just going to keep hitting you for one every turn forever. Sound good? Sound good. Wow, do you have abnormal abdomina? Uh, wait, ab abnormal endurance? I bet you do. Oh no, play abnormal endurance. Wait, really? What do they have? Minus two, minus two. Whatever they have, I don't like it. We're uncomfortable chilling, so we're not taking a damage here. Ooh, hey, buddy. What was your plan? Tell me what your plan was. I don't understand it. Rabid Bite? No, that still wouldn't do it. Uh, Alright, let's drop a Graveyard Marshal. Pass that turn. There's a removal target for you, bud. Dead. No! What do you have in your hand? Is it just like seven Colossal Dreadmaws? Explosive Apparatus. Okay. So you're going to activate that and kill my Graveyard Marshal? Sure. I will get two zombies. What is in their hand? Maybe they're like black white? <laughs> Alright, so Graveyard Marshal is going to bite it here, so we'll make a couple of zombies. Boop, boop, boop. Zombie number one. Boop, boop, boop. Zombie number two. So we'll come in with the zombies. They'll block, I assume, and make a zombie. And then we can just kill the zombie. Dead, Marshal. See ya. See ya. Come on. To the graveyard. To the graveyard. Get with the going. Get with the going. Get with the going? I will take a timeout loss. I'm not above that. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy spending a lot of time with our graveyard marshal. Like, at least we're getting this time together. But it's time for you to go. 
you need to go now. Go. Get. Come on. <laughs> this is where I desperately require a pause function in my recording software. Unfortunately, OBS does not quite allow that. I'm assuming we're still connected. I'm assuming. Opponent, hello. Opponent, hello. I'm assuming we're connected. Go to the store. Go to trade. Go to account. It appears we are still connected. So opponent is just wasting our time. There we go. Goodbye, good graveyard marshal. I'm glad we spent that time together. It was lovely. So they've got an abnormal endurance in hand. They must, right? They must. So their plan is block it, get a zombie, get it back, blah, blah, blah. Can we do anything kind of against that? We can, in response, strangle it so then they only get a zombie. It's actually not the worst. And then they can trade zombies if they want. So let's do that. Let's pull this abnormal endurance out of their hand. Didn't even have it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That is great for us. That is super great for us. Sky scanner, sure. Draw yourself a card. Get one step. Ah, ah, perhaps they're black red. Black red sack, maybe? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now the game's afoot. All right, we'll kill that bogger brute. We don't want that hanging around. Oh, deck. All right, it's bashing for four. I'm assuming they'll trade a zombie here. Maybe even chump. Yeah, even chump. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we got them on that 10 turn clock. So they're splashing green for something. So they're splashing for Vivictus is what I'm going to tell you they're doing. All right, so we're going to drain them. And then we can't just murder that bogger brute. We just got to slam a, a zombie into it. Slam a zombie in. Sure thing. And we'll drop Surge Mare. Good old horsefish. It's your boy. Your boy is dead. Your boy dead. Dead. Drain him. Dr 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 drain him. Ooh, we're in good shape here. Um, yeah, we're going to attack with our zero five horsefish. We're going to pump our zero five horsefish into a four one horsefish. And I guess hopefully not get nightmares thirsted. That would be bad. Plisno? Haha, <laughs> successfully Plisnoed. Uh, we're going to loot, because always loot. We're going to throw away Anticipate. Uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can Salvager of Secrets, holding up Essence Scatter. Hey, we got there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So they are black red. They just never drew their red ever. Um, unless they're like black and like three red cards or something. I don't think we have a sideboard here. I mean, they do have a lot of removal, so we could duress them. And I, I don't like that frilled sea serpent. Sure, I think I'm pretty okay with that. Let's go with that, go back in, try to make this a rare two and one. Someday I'll 3 0. I don't know when. Someday. It might be when Ravnica hits. Alright, deck. 
Be good to me, and I'll be good to you. Fuck you too, deck. Fuck you too. Uh, th that's unkeepable. That is unkeepable. That I guess we got to draw straight gas. That'll help us draw straight gas, I suppose. Oh boy. Oh boy. Island go. I guess it should have been swamp in case in case of graveyard marshal. Yeah, 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 like that. Like what I what I said. What I said. Uh we lose. We lose. Murder? Nope. No such a luck. We need murder, strangling spores, ASAP. ASAP. Take three, boss. Take three. Ha! No, you wish. You wish. Something? Technically something. It blocks the marshal. Technically something. An opponent's not playing that much removal, right? Every color of the rainbow. Rip. Hagen 3, down to 15. We'll drop a skeleton archer to uh, go into the removal grinder as well. Come on. There we go. Taken three. Pass the turn. You've got nothing you can do. There you go. Something. Technically something. Get out of my face hole. Please, not something scary. That's the best card you could have played. Sure. Sure. I'd actually like a land so that we can anticipate an archer. No such luck. We couldn't anticipate an archer, archer anyways. Never mind. I can't do math. Um, yeah, we're going to drop this. Kill that child. It's going to get me flagged on YouTube. Um, they're down to one card. We're actually in good shape now. Barring Vivictus showing up out of nowhere. Haha. -ha. Got him. Got him good. That's a land. I wanted it to be an island. Um, you don't get to make a zombie. We get to make a deckhand. So, I mean, worst comes to worst, we can start fiving them. Deckhand's dead. Sure, that's fine. That's fine. Straight up pass of the turn, eh? Seems good. Let's try to take advantage of this, but we're not gonna, because we never draw that. Um, let's drop the swamp. I don't want to race a 2-2. No, we're not. We're not racing a two-two, especially with the possibility of them having abnormal endurance, or even sure strike would be a pain in the butt. Uh, please, Nova Victus. Nova Victus. All right, anticipate into disperse or neonate. Ooh, those are decent. Um, we've got another neonate we can draw. So let's grab this disperse because then we can disperse their uh, Zambi token. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Opponent seems to forget they're playing magic sometimes. Um, all right. So if we don't hit an island and we don't drop Surge Mare, we can attack in. They'll block, get their zombie. We can let them do whatever. And then we can disperse the zombie when the time comes. But we got an island, so I think we just drop the Surge Mare. And we let them have their zombie. Zombie's yours. Make yourself a zombie. 
Haha. Maybe we waited long enough that now they think we have a trick. So let's drop the Surge Mare, pass the turn. <clears throat> Fine. Take the Disperse. It's yours. You got it. Rude. <laughs> Essence Scatter, that's the best card we've ever seen. Um, yeah, let's... Let's Bishy Bash. In. In, in. Jump there. Um... Yeah, no, you don't get a zombie. You don't get a zombie. No zombie for you. Not today. Play Vivictus. Come on. I won't Essence Scattered, I promise. Hey, it's your boy, Graveyard Marshal. I'm assuming he's going to snap die. But in what way? Murdered? Electrified? Shocked? Strangled by spores? Bit? Who knows? Okay, well. I think we're going to do some attacks. I think we're in pretty good shape here. I'm not sure why their deck kind of stops casting stuff so much. Sure, no zombie for you. Take three. And we'll pass that turn. And if we get to scatter something cool, otherwise we get to make a zombie. Hey, it's Vivictus, and he's countered. Scoop the game. Hey, the rage quit. All right, all right. We were pretty good at rage quitting our opponents there. We two and one. I think the deck was good. Uh, that match that we lost... When the hell do you lose to splashed inspired charge off of a manolith and a meandering river, right? Apparently today. Anyways, that's M19. We've got a few more weeks. I'm going to grind it out. It's going to suck, but we're going to grind it out. And then we get uh, Guilds of Ra No, yes? Guilds of Ravnica is the first one. Um, set review is going to start early. It's on Wednesday, September 19th. Middle of the week, we're going to start set review. Uh, that's also going to be the loading run pre pre release where I will be uh, doing judge chat for them. Uh, so make sure you check all that out. But in the meantime, we're going to have some top 10 lists. They're going to come back finally. Um, we've got uh, an exclusive preview video coming up next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to get back to some more videos. Life has been ludicrously frigging busy. I'm stressed out of my mind with work and this channel and content and attempting to have a social life and wedding planning and etc. It's a mess. But I'm trying to get content out, so stay tuned for that. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Manaleek. That's L E E K, like the vegetable, not the card. You can find me at facebook.com slash Manaleek, twitch.tv slash Manaleek, and patreon.com slash Manaleek. Uh, if you uh, go on over to inkedgaming.com and you buy a playmat or, or sleeves or a hoodie or whatever from them, they print amazing custom. You upload their, your own picture and they print it on a playmat. Amazing work there. You can use the coupon code Manaleek10, all one word. One zero as the number and get 10% off your order. If you like the content, click that thumbs up button. Click subscribe if you want to see more. And if you do have questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, see y'all next time.